What's up, everybody? I'm Burning Sky Cloud, and welcome back to Spirit Favor Favor Edition. So, in the last episode, you know, I spent a good time, you know, improving people's houses, my passengers' houses, and then I, um, I built Elena's cabin. But we all, uh, Jackie also quit the hospital that he was working at. Poor old Daria. Uh, Daria. All she wanted was their music. But Jackie took his job way too seriously. So, he quit. Now, I don't exactly know where he went to, but, uh,. Sure, he's somewhere. <clears throat> when can I do with Jacob? Ooh. Stella, I'm hungry. I need food. Show me what you got. Hmm. Here we go. Gotta feed my little fruit cake. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to need to be back here anymore. Oh, why are my headphones so loud? <laughs> Alright, so Jackie's gone, which means I can finally get back to what I was trying to do before. What were we trying to do? No, work on houses. What am I doing? That's the engine, not the house. See, so you need coal. That's what I need to celebrate for. Oh, yeah, she doesn't want, um, doesn't like things being in the household. Ba ba da ba da! Oi! 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 Trying to do a new song. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Let's see, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right, here we go. Far away to the other side of the sea. Alex, you rock. Have I ever told you that? It's always nice to be reminded. Oh. My sincerest apologies for pressuring you with such mundane requirements, Commander. But your humble servant feels the need for sustenance. I will gladly accept the smallest of scraps from your magnificent cooking skills. Uh -huh. Anything, really. I'm starving. Uh -huh. Praise be, Hallor! <laughs> these comfort foods... The delicacies... These comfort delicacies bring tears to my eyes and pounds wow. to my belly. Ah. Comfort foods, huh? All right. Let's travel over here. Get some lightning. Do I not feed you guys anymore? Uh huh. Oh, yeah, fried foods. Where'd you get that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ren really rents a day, does Yeah, I reckon so. Alright, I'm coming up. <laughs> Student. You should have been here five seconds sooner. Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. Huh. I won't say this often. Your survival probabilities are rather high. Just don't let your guard down. Huh. You won't end up like real children. Remember, use your dash ability in there. You need to move really fast. Huh. Heads up. Thunder is here. Good luck.
This be easy. Have to get it, didn't you? Boys! Yeah! I think it's crazy and dangerous! How was that, Elena? Holy cow! Oh, that was some dangerous lightning! Elena? There we go. Where is she? And time. Not bad. I wouldn't put it on a leaderboard or you on a podium, but you've got some talent. This should be a good reward for you. I don't have anything else. Scram. Thanks for the treasure map. <laughs> what do you need? Negative 50, 30, 59. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna work with Helena a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me, oh, I had some lunch. We got a long travel to go to. I how far, I wonder how fast this ship can really go. Truth be told, I don't think there's any, I didn't think there was anything that was going to be close enough to get me all the way over there. Which is fine. Yeah, I'd be surprised if there was an island hiding right under here. It's big enough for an island to hide under there. Hmm. What do you want? Ah, oh, you're hungry. Fine, I'll feed you. You're good. <laughs> Get your steam going. It's nice to have that nostalgic feeling of old passengers on the ship. You're good. What can I do? Hmm. <laughs> what this means. I don't know, but I'll find out. Stuff in her house. I don't really have much left in here. Oh, yeah, what about, uh. What about the cellar? Plasma and linen fabric. Oh, Lily! <gasps> I 
I can. I did this drawing for you. I draw on a buck. Oh, cool. Yes, start the event. Come on, get out. Gotcha. This is getting easy. This is easy. Only I can see things that no one else can. <laughs> the passage just be darned. Let me get you. Oh wow, we! Big Hat's doing an awful, awfully good job. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, you're learning how to be like me. The fruit cake. Okay, come on. Okay, Stanley. To be a captain, you gotta make sure that your crew is well fed. I taught you that, right? Remember? Uh huh. Well, the next step part, the next bit part of the plan. Actually, why don't you come over here? I want you to meet somebody. Okay. What? I wonder if you can stand and get up here. Okay, uh, Stanley, this is Lily. Lily, this is Stanley. He's one of the passengers and he's in the little fruit cake. Hello? Hi! Nice to meet you, Miss Lily! Uh, oh yeah, this is also my uh, sister. Oh, that's cool. I do, I do believe that. I recall that Stanley was one of your patients. You met with him before, I think. Oh, you know who I am? Yes. You've been mentioned quite a number of times. Rare coin collection. What you doing in there? Oh, I was treasure hunting. Oh, I love treasure hunting. You mean like a pirate? Yes, exactly, like a pirate. 3469. Alright, why don't I teach you how to steer the ship? Sure. Come on, Stanley. We've got adventure. I love adventure. Dear Stella. The area has recently requested that you visit at your earliest convenience. Regards. Overbrook's caretaker. Alright, I'm going to teach you how to steer. Yay! Oh, hang on. Where am I going? Just to go up. We're searching for treasure. I don't know where I'm going. There we go, that's what I wanted to be at. And we're gonna go right through a thunderstorm too. Oh! Let me tell you about a guy named... Let me tell you about my uncle. His name is Atul. He was a great guy. Loved food. And he was a frog. Oh, and yeah, he, he was a frog. I see. He never did have... He always seemed to have a bottom of stomach, didn't he? Yeah. Yes, he did. That's a go tool for you. Well, wait, he loves eating just as much as I do. I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, he'd probably want to adopt you. 
I like that. Sorry. So, uh, what are we doing? Well, first, we gotta find some treasure. Uh huh. Then, we gotta go back to the hospital. Because I gotta go visit a friend. Okay. Let me change this up. Stanley, sit with me. Ah, oh, man. You know, sometimes you just gotta sit back and enjoy the starry night sky. I mean... Oh! I just remembered, I'm... Alright, Stanley, I'm about to do... I'm about to make a miracle happen. Did you? No! I'm totally fine! My face! I'm gonna have big trauma after this! Yeah. You're a freaking weirdo. Following me, don't you know lightning is dangerous? But it looks so fun, big hat. <laughs> Stanley, get out of there! Ah! That was probably not the best idea for me to do. Yeah, no kidding. Didn't ask you, but okay. <laughs> ah, leave me behind all the time, Stella. <laughs> now, let me make sure. Let's see. I need more maple syrup. Fish. I'm trying to see if I did anything with fish and fat. No. Yeah, well, I'll just cook it anyway. Ah, man, that smells. Excuse <laughs> me, sorry. That smells yummy. I know, don't it? And the star mug. Good morning! Can I have food? I got another honey yet. Oh, Elena. Good haul, student. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know these bring back memories. Your ring from a past marriage. Oh. That explains a lot. Those coins. From your brother, you say. Aww. 
excuse me, we're talking here. It's okay. I was talking to the cat. But yes, I'm talking about Stanley too. I'm not a bother, am I? No, of course not, Stanley. You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring shame, you shame. Especially on your cow. Oh, I take off birds to a lot. Shut up. <laughs> your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of those valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. So I have to decide... I have to decide to give up fortune or marriage. Hmm. I see. No, wait a minute. Don't I have something for Albert? The five rose gold. I need an experience potion. I need 80,000. I'm nowhere near that. Close by south. Actually, let me head over to Hummingburg first. I think I have to go talk to someone on. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. I wanted to go to South Point. So we're just kind of lounging around the ship today. Okay. Let's change up the music, shall we? I need to go to Hummingberg, which means... Sorry, Stanley, I'm usually on the move, so you might be having a little trouble catching up with me. That's okay. I can see you in action. Try food here. Rat, rat, rat. Hi, Alex. Oh, you're back again. Yes, I always require your services.
Rat, 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 but hey, at least I can actually get someplace. Just kind of sailing along here. I'm going to Olga. Because she's got stuff that I need to get to make more of. Get out of my face! I'll be back, Stanley. Wow, that's a giant turtle! Hello, my dear. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I am quite well. Thank you. I'm Stanley. I'm Olga. It's not often I get to meet. Passengers of Stella's? And who might you be? The one behind her, this little one. <laughs> I don't have time to converse with a giant sea turtle. Or tortoise, whichever one is preferable. I think you would look more tortoise. Perhaps you are right. <coughs> eh, I'll get more silver ore. Stella, it was such an honor to meet two new mate members of your crew. Oh, that's always nice. All right, Stanley, we're done over here. I need coal. I need silver on a silver platter. Now we gotta go to the south stop. <laughs> Gustav. Uh -huh. mm, you're good, okay. <sighs> what is it? I don't know. What's going on, buddy? Oh. Okay, go have food. What you doing? Hi! <laughs> oh, it's gold. Gold and copper. Big cat. The 
smoothie. I'm gonna teach you how to smelt. First you put the sheets in the heat and then you just pound away. Ow! You gotta be careful though because it's kind of like uh, you can get a little rough. Oh, that was quick. That was cool. Alright, I'm going ashore for a little bit. Okay, have fun! There we go. Ah, I'm here! <laughs> kind of quiet lately around the ship like feels like there's not much left to really get done around there aside from what needs to get done so south point docks <laughs> out of the way I'm working here out of the way I'm working here so where's the four man Where's the back man? Oh! Surprise! Mm -hmm. ah, I'm a bit busy right now, miss. One of my guys got his hands cut off yesterday. That's lovely. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of paperwork. If Mike wants his hospital papers made, he needs to sign this thing from the corporate office. Gosh darn it, Mike! Why? Why are you everywhere? You're in Deponia, now you're in Spirit Favor. Mike, are you like just a common name? Are you everywhere these days? Mike, Mike cut off his hand to get free medical. <laughs> Mike, stop popping into my game. What is your deal? <laughs> First you break the laws of physics. Now you're breaking into the <laughs> every game that I'm playing. Why? <laughs> Before you knew it, he's gonna be inside my computer. <laughs> Curse you, Mike! <laughs> it's pretty boilerplate legal stuff. Hmm. Saying Mike won't sue if they pay his medical bills. Mike, is, Mike wants all the money. That, that's why he, he wants. He just wants to see. Come, he, 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 no, no, no. It's not that Mike wants the money. It's that he wants to sue people just be out of just because he wants to. Because he wants to screw with people and whatnot. He is the ultimate power. The one we have been waiting for for so long. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, the doctors are reattaching his hands right now, so he'll be able to sign it soon enough. I know. Ooh. Apparently, doctors can do that. How were you knowing what I was thinking? I mean, Mike's able to have right. No, wait. If Mike gets his hand reattached, we're all in trouble. No, wait. Even then, we're even without his hand, we're in trouble. He has powers beyond no no one can ever see. What was the name of his doctor again? I don't remember his name, but I know where he lives. Mm. Why? Because he kept saying it over and over. He was very proud of his pet house in Old Central District. Mm -hmm. It was so it was weird. It was in the operating room, as a representative for the company. The doctor kept talking about his hot tub and his million dollar watch, mm. reminding us that he was the best doctor in the whole wide world. All of that, while I was reattaching Mike's two hands. I cut off both his hands? What? Mike, what are you on? <laughs> I can see it now. Mike has... Mike, Mike, Mike's just drunk to the point where he's like, Oh yeah, let me just try this thing. Oh no, my hands! <laughs> I shall reattach, and then I will sue the, the company for allowing me to cut off my own hands. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, can you stop talking and concentrate on reattaching my buddy's hands? <laughs> I would be the guy freaking out. Like, Mike, why? Why did you cut your hands off? <laughs> hey, Mike's, just, Mike's response, because... 
Anyway, Mike's gonna be okay. Mike may be okay, but we're not. We're in big trouble because he has power. Yeah, like I said, he has powers. We, no one knows how they work. He'll be back at work soon. Hmm. The company off only offers five sick days a year, and he already took it the couple to take care of his daughter. Hands or no hands, Mike will be in tomorrow. Uh, how will he work? Mm -hmm. And I guess the doctor will be in his penthouse in Old Central District. What an odd world. Wait, an overbook? Oh, Old Central District. Where are we? Gosh darn it. I knew Mike was something. Something. Alright, uh, let me see. Old Central District. Oh, that's not that far from here. Alright. Where the muffins, Mike? He starts, he starts showing up in games, in every game then, I'm in trouble. Because that's when he knows how to work the system. Or maybe he already does, but he's just not keeping, but he's just keeping it hush hush. I want you, Mike. You're not gonna pull one over my eyes. And don't you act innocent either, because you know, you know. get these watered up. Wait, I thought this had water retained in the properties. <laughs> this really doesn't have anything I need. It's, uh, in relation to food. Alright, I gotta find this guy's penthouse. Let's talk and we're walking. No, maybe I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Later. area. Probably. It's really like more the right way. There's only one more left. Let's go, Daffodil. Hi. Hey. Ever heard of the Shoulder Touch? Stop 
right there. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? You're looking for a doctor? Mm -hmm. Well, look no farther. You found him. You found me. Mm -hmm. I'm a world-renowned hand surgeon. I've been on talk shows. I've been recognized in malls. Mm -hmm. I own a 600-gallon hot tub. Always chocolate going ready for when this doctor comes home. After a hard day of doing what surgeons need do, I need to relax my hands in warm, bubbling water. Mm -hmm. That is the life of the prestigious doctor. I'm known for my impeccable surgery skills and for being punctual, but not for shutting up. I'm always on time because of this watch. Mm. It costs so much money, I don't want to say. It's encrusted with rare diamonds. It's a triple retrograde grade tour billion. Well, I can see I lost you there. Mm -hmm. I bought it as a gift for myself after my fourth marriage. Now, back to you. You need a doctor mm -hmm. for Overbrook? I thought that place closed down. And it's so far away. Mm -hmm. Why would I ever work in a place like that? For money. I do it for more money. Mm -hmm. No one ever says no to more money. I just love buying myself new things. Well, you're self-conceited then, I see. When I'm not at work, I shower myself with expensive gifts. Mm -hmm. Such is my nature. I would consider it for... Hmm... 10,000 glimps. Mm -hmm. Up front. No bi weekly payments. Glims only. Mm -hmm. A one time offer. Deal? Well, well. I can hear the money sloshing around in your pockets. Work it over if you still want me to work in that awful overbrook. Mm -hmm. Alright? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, just like that. You've got yourself a deal. I'll start prepping my move. <laughs> I tell my job that I'm moving on up to a better gig. Hmm. Overbrook doesn't sound too exciting. Hmm. I might just lie and say I'm going to a more reputable hospital. Well, see you around. Thanks for the money. I got scammed. I got scammed. Avidel, I got scammed by a doctor. Screw doctors, they're horrible. Oh yeah, I kind of made my choice on what I was gonna give Elena. Good morning. Thank you, but I don't want that. Yeah, because who needs money? That must have been hard. No, not really. I'm charitable. Such is life. You live, you lose. Were you expecting something in return? I will let you have some time for yourself now, student. Yeah, see? Money's nice and all, but the promise of a ring has more meaning to it. Because it's a ring that's been naturally given to you.
Alright. Might as well head back to Olga and get my coal. I'm dead. Not, not, might not be exciting. It just gives you your daily nutrients. <laughs> Plain food. Okay. Well, we found something else I've heard. That was a good show out there. I'm thinking things over. Keep it up. I'm sure you guys can tell that, uh... I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. <laughs> it's been well over 50 episodes already. I'm nowhere even fi close to being finished. I'm just running around. Doing quests. Copper in. can grow. Alright, have a deal. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. I thought it was. <laughs> Remember, he might be done. What does that mean? Let me head up over this way. If I can hog it on an island. Where would I find a hog and hog it? Once in a while, there will be one of them that stands out from the pack. 
It's a numbers game. You will break a few. Then one will hatch eventually. Okay, that made no sense. I think she's mad at me. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I worry about everything. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to go right over there anyway, right? Student, I have another teacher for you. And you're tapping enough to not be broken. I need to take me to the editor. You're equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. Quiet. That's good practice. It's our snap. Oh, well, the mayors aren't done just yet. This is the tranquility. Steamed shellfish. Right. <laughs> right, let's head to the Villa Majore and oh snap! Wait, I haven't been here since after Gwen. Catch a great fish. I almost forgot to look over the at the fuel button. <laughs> hey, soul fisher, why don't <laughs> ain't that Mr. Fisher in the? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to make something light and funny. Hey, you. You're back. Yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? I'll say. I haven't seen you in many moons, really. It's been a minute. Yep, Ooh. so. You want to come to work at a hospital? Me? No, I've been fine. Not lonely at all. Ooh. Just fine. I got this little shack. My things are in there. My toothbrush my dry socks. Oh. I've got it going on. Yeah, my life is pretty great. Oh. It's good you keep checking up on me. I'm totally fine. Been fine for a while now. Oh. Nothing says fine like living out here. Next to an empty mansion. Sleeping in this tiny shack. Oh. No running water. No electricity. Here the squirrels having fun at night. Oh. It's the best. Okay, I give up. I'm lonely. Ha! Huh? Knew it. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, man. Mm -hmm. So very lonely. I knew I talking would persistently would get him to break. I hate being by myself. No one listens to my jokes. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? No one. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. You gotta help me out. I might start knitting at any time. You gotta find me a better job than this. I need a better need a better roof than this one. I can see the stars, but birds can also watch me sleeping. Well, why don't I gotta? Oh, do I have a gig for you? I see. That's interesting. I've never heard of Overbrook. And it comes with free room and board. Hmm. Well, I can't say no to that. I already spilled the beans on being miserable and lonely. Coincidentally, I also spilled beans on my sleeping bag, so the timing couldn't be more perfect. Mm -hmm. You got me. I need to start being less honest. Less honest? Buddy, you need to be honest. Okay, I'll go. Mm -hmm. Let me pack my things and say goodbye to my woodland friends. I'll meet you at Overbrook. Man, the 
memories. Just gonna take a minute. Good memories were made here. This may be the very last time I come to Villa Majore. Chickadees. Beautiful, all right. My curiosity, though, is high. He's my last spear. He's the last spear to find. The question is, where do I get this axe at? Where did I get his axe? That was a tool! That's right, a tool was here. So then where's the one with the ants? Maybe it wasn't because there's no s Summer music going on in here. Let's 
good getting to see just everybody here again. with this mix. English tea maybe? Sweet tea. this makes oh yeah he's got his own cattail light that was in a perfect spot I can also find the treasure. Whoopsie Daisy, I kinda you know, I, I I kinda made a little mistake there. Oh, oh who is this who is this guy? Why is this music annoying fella? That's Alex, he's the bus driver. Uh, do we really need bus drivers? Well, technically, he's a bus transporter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the left, to the right of an island. Well, I would think it would, could ever be at. Well, only one way to find out. I'm watching you, sheep. Where am I going? I'm a little tired right now. Work's been hectic. <laughs> Okay, I thought so. <laughs> Should be bacon and eggs, right? Use the same thing every year. The same words, the same language. <laughs> Knowledge is unbreakable. You cannot unlearn something that has invaded your mind. You just need to be open to the possibilities. <laughs> Stella, every time we run into these fields or I see you helping your crew, I think of the first student I helped. Celeste was this bright kid. She had lost her mother and had a difficult time concentrating. Her day to day struggles were immense. However, she was determined. <laughs> she wanted this prestigious scholarship. It took coaching after school lessons. Yeah, it, it took coaching after school lessons. Phone calls to her dad. <laughs> she did not get that scholarship. She didn't have a chance. She learned that even when you try hard, you might fail harder. <laughs> like I said, it's a numbers game. Yeah, it, it's a numbers game. She would never be the same. Neither would I. <laughs> and that is how <laughs> I teach. Oh, that's the most unorthodox. Oh, no, Listen, if I must say. <laughs> and that is your opinion, and I have the right to directly disrespect. Well, I never. And that is my opinion. <laughs> like I said. Oh, 
scrambled eggs. <laughs> All right. Let's make this. Let's make some magic happen. Oh yeah, I was at Hoseki Quarry. So I just gotta look for the person who actually speaks. Oh no. Okay. She's not there. Well, never mind on that. Let's get on over to the Hoseki Quarry. Hoseki Quarry! Home to where the guy that we're looking for is at. Big place. You think I'll find him? You well, we just gotta look for the guy who's actually talking. Quite true, quite true. This is coal. I need coal. Oh, that's slate. Oh, you can never have too much slate. Also slate. <laughs> oh, sorry everyone, I'm really starting to peter out here. Oh! I've been working in this mine since before I was born. How does that work? My mom worked here. My dad worked here. My granddad. Well, you get it. I don't know if I would ever leave. Well, we do have a place for you if you want to get out. <clears throat> to work at the Overbrook Hospital? In the kitchen? Yes. I see. You could be an excellent chef. Cooking is like hidden rocks. Are you sure? Those two hit sound like very different things. You do make a compelling argument. Whatever that argument was. You sure have a way with words. And that voice. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sold on the idea. And I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Trouble is, we can't just up and leave. Mm -hmm. We need people to cover our post. Wait. Wait. Uh -huh. I've got it. Wait. No, I just lost it. Mm -hmm. Wait. No, wait. I got it. What if instead of people, we use dummies? I mean, yeah, you're all just standing around anyway. Uh -huh. We just need to dress some, uh, uh, up some s scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in our work clothes. They'll look like regular employees, but they won't move. What happens when uh, the boss comes and checks on you? I'm sure the Raccoon Inc. Mining Comp or Corporation won't know the difference. Mm -hmm. Plus, as an added benefit, dummies don't need to eat. Fewer lunch breaks, more productivity. That's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. They won't talk back either. They'll be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to stuff into the stummies. Mm -hmm. So, 
You should go out and get everything. Some wood, some linen, a cup of carrots. <laughs> yeah, that could work. Oh yeah, this is totally a great plan. I can't wait to start hitting food and make real culinary art. <laughs> Come back when you have all the materials. So? <laughs> Good job. You've got it all. I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dummies. <laughs> we'll make the t them look real. Raccoon Inc. Mining Corporation will be able to tell the difference. When they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it will be too late. Uh -huh. We'll be free and ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this new exciting career opportunity. See you in the kitchen at Overbrook. I lost stuff. That was fun. I got uh I got who I needed for the overbrook. So we're going to find out what's going on with Daria in the next episode. But in the meanwhile, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and share, and don't forget to subscribe to see more in the future. I'll catch you later.